Well, if you are just joining us at home, here are the eight things you need to know today. Back to the Pats. They are once again headed to the Super Bowl. The Pats won their eighth AFC championship last night. They're sixth under Tom Brady and Coach Bill Belichick. Tom Brady threw for three touchdowns, and LeGarrette Blunt ran in three more to lead the Pats to a 45-7 victory over the Indianapolis Colts blowout indeed. So now the matchup is set for Super Bowl 49. The Patriots will face the Seattle Seahawks two weeks from now on February 1st in Glendale, Arizona. The Seahawks overcame a 16-0 third quarter uh, from behind the 16 point deficit to stun the Green Bay Packers last night headed back to the Super Bowl as the defending champions. Remembrances and tributes honoring Martin Luther King Jr. are planned across the country today. Here at home, the Portland chapter of the NAACP will host its annual MLK Holiday Breakfast at the Holiday Inn by the Bay. Former Massachusetts Congressman Barney Frank will be the keynote speaker. A reminder that state offices and post offices are both closed today. Senator Susan Collins is saying an additional $1 million federal grant for the Sarah Long Bridge Replacement Project should help expedite the construction of a new bridge between Kittery and Portsmouth. The construction project is expected to be finished in the summer of 2017. And continuing the eight things that you need to know today, the president will roll out plans for tax hikes on the wealthiest Americans at his annual State of the Union address tomorrow. This is according to the White House officials. President plans to call for ending certain loopholes on trust funds and increasing the top tax rates on dividends and capital gains. Remember, you can catch the President's State of the Union address to Congress and to the nation tomorrow night beginning at 9 o'clock. ABC News will have analysis followed by a recap on WMTW News 8 at 11. Just over a week after the deadly attacks in Paris, there are less tourists heading to the Eiffel Tower and other major sites around Europe. This morning, European Union foreign ministers are in Brussels for a meeting on fighting terrorism as the investigation into suspected terror cells in Europe expands now to several more countries. And finally, this morning, icy highways causing deadly pileups in several states over the weekend. Taking a look at this video, hundreds of accidents were reported from coast to coast with at least five people killed. On Sunday, the flash freezing continues with thousands waking up to more dangerous black ice this morning. Matt, uh, luckily, that is really not the case as much today. For yeah, us. I mean, we're very fortunate we warmed up last night and this morning.